So this is another solution for those of you that are having problems with your uh, hi-hat pedal on your Roland drum kit. And it's because this piece of rubber stiffens up and it's not as flexible. So some of the people suggest that you uh, boil it in water or you cover it in Vaseline and uh, put it near a heat source for 24 hours and that kind of stuff. Uh, from what I've read, that is kind of a temporary solution and usually people report back and say uh, within a week or within a month, uh, it's stiffened up again. So this is a more permanent solution and you may have already seen it when I've uh, done this, but there's slots cut into the top of that. They're not very nice, not very accurate, but uh, it does the job. So what's, what's happening basically is the screw holds this end down in the pedal and then this pushes down, the pedal pushes down on this when you push on it. And if it's too stiff, the um, this end of it will kind of lift off the sensor slightly and that screws up the sensor. So what I've done, this was also suggested on a forum by the way, I just took uh, an X-Acto knife and just kind of gently went back and forth like this. You don't need to go far down, you, you know, maybe a millimeter or a sixteenth of an inch, that'll do it. And um, I'll see if I can focus it. My apologies for the lighting here and my webcam, it doesn't really uh, focus very close. But you can see there that they're not very deep at all. All you really have to do is break that top layer of rubber because underneath uh, that thin layer of rubber, the rubber seems to be th um, more flexible. So, uh, and the reason for doing five, six or seven of these uh, cuts is you don't want to have all the stress going on one or two cuts because what's going to happen then is that cut will may get deeper and deeper every time you bend it and it'll work itself right through the rubber. What you do by doing uh, six or seven of these cuts is you distribute that, that tension throughout all of them and um, they won't get deeper at all. And of course what they say is to put a little bit of grease here on the end uh, to make sure that the, the pedal is doesn't stick or slide or whatever on it and uh, then it's just a matter of putting it back together. Now for those people who have a, a TD1K uh, and this cheap little pedal that comes with it, I'll do a little video at the end of how to take this pedal apart because I don't think there's one of those on YouTube and um, you know it's pretty easy to do but just in case somebody doesn't know how to do it. Okay so as promised I'm going to show you uh, you people that have the TD1K pedal or whatever kit has a pedal that's like this. I'll show you how to take that apart. So first if you look over at this end you're gonna see um, there's a nut here which is chewed up because I've taken it apart too many times and then there's a, an allen wrench on that side. The allen wrench is a five millimeter and uh, I'm sure for our American friends there's some imperial measurement that's the equivalent of that. I find with these things there's usually, I'm just using pliers by the way to hold that nut in place. I find with imperial and metric sets there's usually something that fits that's close enough to get you by. Oh, and there's a little nut there, oh, sorry a little washer there which I just dropped. And that whole thing is a, um, that um, allen wrench is a, is a long screw like that that goes all the way through and that's what this thing hinges on. So then on the bottom, um, right here, there's a little screw you have to undo. And there's a, I just dropped my screwdriver. There's a spring here. Oops, <laughs> that just came apart, which it's supposed to do. So there's a, a little spring here and you can see this little hook right here. Uh, that's kind of what has to go into this thing, into this thing and that little loop goes there and that screw holds it in place. It's a lot easier to get out than it is to get back in. So once you do that, actually you're almost there. Uh, the little rubber thing is right here and there's there's just one screw holding it in place, which I'm going to have to oh, reach down and get my screwdriver. You want to do that one little screw. Now this is sometimes hard to get out of here. Um, I've had mine apart a few times so it comes out nice and easy. You may have to kind of jiggle it and wiggle it to get it out of there the first time. But there's your uh, rubber thingamajig ready to be fixed by whatever means you choose.